Yehuchanan, John 20. Now on that certain Shabbat came Miriam of Migdal early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulchre, and saw the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she ran and came to Shimon Kepha, and to the other Talmudi, whom Yahusha loved, and said unto them, They have taken away Adonai out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Kepha therefore went, and that other Talmudi, and came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together, and the other Talmudi did outrun Kepha, and came first to the sepulchre. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying, yet went he not in. Then came Shimon Kepha, following him, and went into the sepulchre, and saw the linen clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other Talmudi, which came first to the sepulchre, and he saw and believed. For as yet they knew not the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. Then the Talmudim went away again unto their own home. But Miriam stood without at the sepulchre, weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down, and behold, rather, and looked into the sepulchre, and saw two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Yahusha had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why do you weep? She said unto them, Because they have taken away my Adonai, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she had, she had thus said, she turned herself back, and saw Yahusha standing, and knew not that it was Yahusha. Yahusha said unto her, Woman, why do you weep? Whom do you seek? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said unto him, Sir, if you have borne him hence, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Yahusha said unto her, Miriam. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, teacher. Yahusha said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father, and your father, and to my Yah, and your Yah. Miriam of Migdal came and told the Talmudim that she had seen Eth Adonai, and that he had spoken these things unto her. Accordingly, it being at even, the first of the Shabbat, when the doors were shut, where the Talmudim were assembled, for fear of the Yahudim, came Yahusha and stood in the midst, and said to them, Peace be with you. And when he had said so, rather had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the Talmudim glad when they saw Eth Adonai. Then said Yahusha to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them, and said unto them, Receive ye the Ruach HaKadosh, whosesoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them, and whosesoever sins ye retain, they are retained. But Taom, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Yahusha came. The other Talmudim therefore said unto him, We have seen Athad and I. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days again, his Talmudim were within, and Taom with them. Then came Yahusha, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Taom, Reach hither your finger, 
and behold my hands. And reach hither your hand, and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless, but believing. And Ta'om answered and said unto him, My Adonai and my Elohim. Yahusha said unto him, Ta'om, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. And many other signs truly did Yahusha in the presence of his Talmudim, which are not written in this Sefer. But these are written, that ye might believe that Yahusha is Hamashiach, the son of Elohim, and that believing ye might have life through his name.